The Salvation Army of Durham is in rescue Christmas mode, and they do need your help to do it. CBS 17's Randy Ayala has more on why the need for the angel tree is double of what it was last year. Santa's helpers are gearing up to make sure kids in Durham have presents under the tree Christmas morning, but they have their work cut out for them. We're currently serving over 2,000 um, children this year, which is significantly more than last year. I would say about 50% more. With the pandemic raging and people losing their jobs, the need is tremendous. Some families will have one. This one has four kids. And it worries Major Carla Perez that three weeks out from Christmas, more than 1,600 children still need to be adopted. Um, at this time last year, all of the kids were uh, at least already requested. So it is a little concerning to know that we have a lot more kids and they are still kind of sitting in our office waiting to be adopted. Because of COVID, adoptions can take place online and gifts can be shipped straight to this warehouse in downtown Durham, making the process as convenient as possible so people still feel safe and parents in need don't have to sacrifice the necessities. They don't necessarily have to choose between paying their electric bill or paying their rent or buying a, a gift for their child. And kids, they get to be kids on Christmas. Just waking up and running to the tree and seeing something there and just wrapping, you know, unwrapping things and just you know, that joy, and I think that's what it means for, for these kids. Randy Ayala, CBS 17 News. And more than 1,600 children still need to be adopted for the Angel Tree program. So if you don't adopt a child, you can always donate toys or clothes, and the Salvation Army will divide those among the children who did not get adopted. 